hi and welcome to watching heavy metal news and let's get started with this year's 2011's first news and i want to start with an uh, announcement by harper collins publishers and harper collins publishers have announced that they are releasing zach wilde's new book which is titled bringing metal to children and uh, uh, it will be released on may 10th and uh, its co-author is Eric Hendricks and the book begins with Wilde's uh, uh, true rocker test uh, which the reader answers itself, him herself and uh, self scores 10 questions to determine if he or she is a true rocker and then continues with the, uh, Wilde's epic stories about life on the road using Black Label Society coaching techniques to instruct the reader on proper touring hygiene, pre-concert preparations and uh, um, post-show etiquette. And uh, the stories include many heavy metal musicians like Rob Zombie, Dimebag Darrell, Lars Ulrich and many many others. Blind Guardian, Death Angel, Decide uh, Mercenary Obscura and October File have been confirmed for this year's edition of the Metal Camp Festival which will take place from July 11th to 16th in Dolmin, Slovenia. Kerrang Magazine recently conducted an interview with uh, Lacuna Coil's vocalist Christina Scabia and uh, Lacuna Coil at the moment is recording a follow-up to their 2009's Shallow Life and uh, in that interview uh, Scabia was asked about the new, uh, new album and uh, she stated that the new album will be similar to the Shallow Life album because the band liked the musical direction the Shallow Life album took. According to a UK magazine uh, Danny Filth Davy of Cradle of Filth topped the race to be named one of the ten, top 10 icons of the UK Suffolk County. And the Suffolk Icon site was launched by Chu Suffolk, a partnership aimed at putting the county on the map. And uh, Filth got about 13,000 votes, and uh, that was uh, a lot more than the other candidates in the list. But it appears that uh, now. The votes have been ignored by the judges at Chu Suffolk who are instead restaging the poll with a short list of uh, only 20 approved images and no filth there. It has been 25 years since uh, Slayer released their landmark iconic album Rain in Blood and Esp, Esp Guitars finds that it is now the right time to release a special custom-made Rain in Blood style guitar and uh, uh, the guitar is uh, a limited edition that means that only 250 guitars worldwide will be released and uh, the guitar is highlighted with a custom graphic finish that employs elements of the cover artwork from the Rain in Blood album and uh, all the other details about the technical si uh, side of the guitar that will be released uh, uh, you can find it if you click the link in the description bar below and uh, read about it there. Then Cannibal Corpse are tentatively scheduled to release a new DVD titled Global Eviscration uh, and the DVD will be released on March 15th uh, via Metal Blade Records and uh, the DVD contains footage from their concerts uh, in uh, Colorado and Albuquerque and uh, the DVD was directed by Denise Korishki of Wild Wind Productions. Tequila, the new video from Korpiklani uh, has been released and uh, Tequila comes off uh, Korpiklani's new album Ukom Vaka which will be released in Europe on February 4th via Nuclear Blast Records. And also a new video from Cyrenia, The End of It All has also been released and uh, 
the clip was uh, directed by Patrick Gulleus of uh, Revolver Film Company and uh, the end of it all comes off Serenia's new album The Enigma of Life which will be released on January 21st first via Nuclear Blast Records. The original court of Berlin has convicted Apocalyptica for trademark infringement against Rammstein and Apocalyptica has been uh, forced to pay a fine of 45,000 euros. And uh, this has to do with the Apocalyptica's album Worlds Collide and Worlds Collide uh, featured many guest musicians including Rammstein singer Till Lindemann and guitarist Richard Kruspe. But the whole album Worlds Collide was advertised in magazines, flyers etc. in Germany as including Rammstein, not just Rammstein members but including Rammstein. And uh, this was done without the authorization of the band and their management. And lastly, Tim Borgir, the new video from Timo Borgir has been released and it was filmed by Catapult, it was directed by Catapult Films director Sandra Marschner and comes off uh, Timo Borgir's latest album, Abrahadabra. So these were the news, uh, first news of 2011. Thank you so much for watching and if you like receiving the news, uh, then please click subscribe up there and uh, give it the thumbs up. So I will see you again next Monday.